this bitch when he ain't playing no Boy, I'm out for that money, I'm so rich, y'all do Ain't no trippin' and bring it, I count it up nine I ain't hear nothin', y'all, sir Now no, I came up from the bottom But they know that these niggas be flies She don't fuck with me cause of a dollar From the hood, but shot up my If I sit in the bitch, I run down on the bitch I don't bust it from out of the car I got bitches with sixes on guard Lockin' in like silly bud Ain't no whole Yo, it's your boy Smokeless YT, aka Silk Man, aka Milk Man. We back with an undrafted free agent sign this video. All you gotta do is like and subscribe, hit that post notify. Today I'm uploading back to back videos. I'm uploading this rebuild challenge, zero overall challenge. If you want to, you can go check it out. But true. It's been your boy Smokers YT. We about to get in this video without further ado. Let's get in this jump. We're gonna start this video with wide receiver Marquez Callaway. Marquez is a stud. He played a special teams for you. He has a knack for the ball. His catching traffic is amazing. Uh, shoot. Get into the stats: 1,646 yards, 13 touchdowns, and 92 receptions. And he broke out last year with 635 yards and six touchdowns. Who would have known? He probably would have had more yards, probably due to the quarterbacks at Tennessee. But he's a good ass player. Trust me, like for real. I said his strengths is his long speed. It's catching traffic and he's a very physical player but his weaknesses is his separation but he can get down the field very fast but this is a good pick the second free agency signing from the saints is juan johnson six four receiver out of oregon this is my most likely favorite to make the roster because this guy's a playmaker trust me over at Oregon, he has 1,590 yards, six touchdowns, 111 receptions, and he just broke out last year. But over at Oregon, I said his strengths is his catch radius, his length, and he's a contested catcher, but his weakness is consistency. Our third signing is Joel Batchy, linebacker from Michigan State. If Cesar Ruiz went off the board and we was in the second round or third round, we have no linebacker. This is the guy that we, I think we was going to choose. This guy has <laughs> tremendous upside. Over at Michigan, he's got three, 285 tackles, seven sacks, and five interceptions, bro. This man, bro, he's, he's amazing, bro. I hope he makes a roster. That's one of my favorites to make a roster. He did have off the field issues with the PED stuff, but this man is a great player. His strengths is his tackling. This man can shoot through gaps, stop the run, and his weaknesses is his flexibility, but overall, this man is a stud. That's a good signing. Or with our fourth signing, the Saints got in Keith Washington, cornerback from West Virginia. Keith Washington is a tall, lanky, Receiver, probably about 6'1". He's got 62 tackles, 2.5 tackle for losses, 1.5 sacks. He's gotten five interceptions. He is a good cornerback, but he's probably going to be a death piece. Keep it a buck because we do need death at that cornerback spot. His strength is his physical. He's physical. He's very physical. He's a playmaker. He has good ball skills. I, I, I've seen that, but... His weaknesses is his size. He's pretty skinny. I do feel like this is a good pickup. We need that definite cornerback spot. I hope he makes the roster. With our fifth pickup, we've gotten defensive tackle from Texas, Malcolm Roach. He's a good pickup. This man has a high motor. Cares about the game. 22.9 tackle for losses. 8 sacks and 130 tackles that's good stats i feel like he can make the roster the strength is his production and his motor and his instincts and his weaknesses development he needs to sit behind somebody for a year or two but overall i really think he's a good pick hope he makes the roster with the sixth pick up the new orleans saints got tino ellis from maryland cornerback 
This man is tall. He's lanky. He's about 6'1". It's a neck for the ball. He has one interception, 73 tackles, and five tackle for losses. He's a pretty good cornerback, if you ask me. He's about 6'1". His strengths, his man coverage, and his weaknesses is his technique. Overall, I believe this is a good pickup for depth. He makes the roster. With this pickup, we got Gus Cumberland from Oregon defensive end. Gus Cumberland needs a little bit of development. This man is tall as hell. He's like 6'7", but he's got 6.5 sacks, 8.5 tackle for losses, and 23 tackles. He's a tall-ass defensive end. His strength is his length, but his weakness is development. While, like I said, he needs a lot of experience. He needs to sit behind somebody to learn. But this overall was a good pickup. Yeah. With this signing, the New Orleans Saints got in Troy Jones Jr. from Notre Dame running back. This guy is a power back. He has a lot of speed. He can get really loose, but overall, he's got 1,481 yards, 12 touchdowns. And 273 yards and one, I think, believe two touchdowns, receiving touchdowns. But his strength is his power, his speed. He has tremendous blocking, but he needs to sit behind somebody and get some development. But overall, this is a good pick. Uh, hope he makes the roster. With this free agency signing, we got punter Blake. I'm trying to pronounce his last name. Glinkin from Penn State. He's a good punter. That boy got a boot, but I think he's going to replace Thomas Morris that next year because there's no reason why we're going to pick up a punter. But anyways, I just said his strength. He has a leg, a.k.a. boot. But his weaknesses, I don't know because I don't really watch him. But I believe he's going to take over Thomas Morris that's place next year. But hope. since there's no O-line stats I can probably get for none of these O-linemen, uh, Calvin Throckmore, O-line out of Oregon. I said his hands. Strength is his hands and his football IQ, but his weakness is his athleticism. Sorry, I can't get the stats for these O-linemen. This O-lineman, we got Adrian McGee. Strength is his power at power at attack, and his sturdy block and his flexibility. This, I forgot his name, but strength is his technique, and his weakness is his athleticism. Sorry, I'm just zooming through this, but I forgot his name. I think he's like Jordan Steckler. It's a good lineman, sturdy. Don't have no current data about him, but he's my top five people that's going to make the roster. But it's me, your boy, Smokers YT. Sorry, I could not get the alignment stats. They're pretty hard to find. Like, you have to go deep, deep in researching. But it's been your boy, Smokers YT, and we out here. Chee! What happened? The pack got his back. Yeah. He came back because the pack yeah. got his back. Yeah. Hey, let's go hunt like the wolves today. Yeah. We yeah. pray out. Yeah. We kill, we yeah. kill, let's go! Hey, throw that up! Let's go, baby! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen,